it drained me to be around these people. But because of the financial uh, upside, I was in business and in relationship and in proximity and community with these people. And that wasn't success to me. I'm telling you, and I'm talking about I made millions of dollars in doing it. I noticed that you talk about uh, God a lot in your business. Some people think that religion doesn't belong in business because what if you're doing business with somebody that's not the same religion as you and you're always talking about your religion? How do you navigate your religion in business? Yeah, I, I agree. I, I don't think religion belongs in business, but I believe that God does because for me, it's his business. If I'm under the mistaken impression that I grew up blue collar family on the west side of Detroit in an 800 square foot house, and now fast forward, I own over 100 apartments, mentor people all around the world, teaching them how to invest in real estate, have raised millions of dollars in capital, the first one ever in my family to invest in real estate, the first one ever in my family to be a successful business owner. If I'm under the mistaken impression that I did that, then who I'm fooling, right? And so for me, I can't talk about my business without talking about God because he's the owner, I'm the CEO. I just get, I get to steward, manage it, grow it, Right, all according to his will and purpose for my life. But but I agree, I think that when we bring religion, our religion into business, that's a whole different thing because now we bring in, you know, a set of rules, we bring in um, rigid perspective, you know, we're bringing possibly even judgment. I think all of those things are wrong. I think that, um, I, I mean, I'll give you an example, right? For our team meetings within my companies, we pray. Don't mean that somebody got to believe what I believe, but but I know that I need God's wisdom in my business to effectively run it in a way in which that he that he identifies for me to do so. And I've done it the opposite way where I've been rich and miserable because seed and harvest is a principle. So if you sow enough seeds, you will reap a harvest. The, the question becomes, what's the quality of the seed that you sowed and what's the quality of the harvest? Right. And I've, I've been rich and miserable because I didn't get all the teamings of peace and joy and all those things that I thought the money would bring after making millions of dollars. And I figured out it was because I hadn't submitted and surrendered my my business to God and allow him to increase me or even bring me down to the valley in certain seasons because of certain things that need to happen in us and through us in order for us to really go out and garner the true success that we want. And I hope for everybody watching this success is not the monetary value. What I've discovered is the true success is the freedom, the freedom of thought, the freedom of uh, the time freedom, right? Um, and yeah, there, there's, a, there's a financial aspect to it, but, but having true peace in your life, having true joy in your life, uh, this one is paramount. Having people around you that you really wanna be in business with. Like, like I've been in that season where I've done transaction with folks that I would, it, it it drained me to be around these people, but because of the financial uh, upside, I was in business and in relationship and in proximity and community with these people. And that wasn't success to me, I'm telling y'all. And I'm talking about I made millions of dollars in doing it. And so I don't believe that religion should be in business, but I do think your relationship with God, whatever you call him, should be paramount if you really understand that everything, every good and perfect gift comes from him. And if you truly believe that, I don't see how you could separate him from the business when it's his business and you just so happen to be blessed enough to have an opportunity to work in it, steward in it, and grow it all according to what he sees fit.